Praise the Lord. God is good. God is great. Jesus is alive and well. Ladies and gentlemen and boys and girls, call a familiar face. Call all the folks you know from your family and relatives to your friends, your classmates, your roommates, your significant others, your spouses, and everyone else. From friends, amigos, comrades, compadres, to your frenemies and enemies. Tell them that your boy is doing his YouTube CVS station identification. No, it is not. The Pharmacy, it's Channel Vlog Show, known as WEML-TV, Channel 77. And now here is your host of the show, where there's Ordinary and there's him. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Eric M. Lima. Thank you very much for that wonderful intro, Mr. Announcer. Wink, I know who it is. Hello, everyone. It's Eric Lima here hosting WEML-TV, Channel 77, episode 819. What's going on? Four more days before Christmas. We should leave that. Four days. Four days left and 10 days left of 2021. I know it has been, uh, been a, this year, and you know, this year has not been kind to a lot of folks out there, including my family and myself, and, uh, all right, I want to make sure I thought it was a piece of plastic hanging up. <clears throat> so I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I know uh, I'm trying to have a good day, and it's been uh, it has not been very easy for me and my family. Um, I don't want to get into details why, because some evil eyes and ears may be watching and hearing, and so uh, I know a lot of people want to know what's going on. That's why I don't reveal too much here on YouTube. Like I said, you know, if you know my history on here on YouTube, I mean. You know, <clears throat> but I blocked I blocked a lot of those individuals out. But still, there could be more individuals popping up. So I got to be careful what I say here. Got to protect the family. All right, got to protect the family. You know, <laughs> got to protect the family. Forget about it. You know what's going on here. So, anyways, uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh this is what happens when you live in the most bipolar um, weather region in this country's history. You know, what I mean, New England. Especially southern New England, so bipolar it's not even funny. I mean, one day it would be like uh, warm and sixty some odd degrees, and then all of a sudden, boom! It's like this, it happens mostly in the fall and in the winter times, you know. And all of a sudden, boom! It's like uh, thirty some odd degrees and a little bit of rain or snow. It's like epoch. Can you? I mean, you felt like just asking the Lord, "What can you make up your mind? What you want to do with this weather here?" You know, that's why everybody's been getting sick is because you keep changing the weather, Lord. I mean, it's like epoch. You know what I mean? It's, you know, it's. <laughs> You know, you're like, uh, it's, it's like a kid turning on lights and lo on and off, you know, like, would you stop that already? <laughs> it's like, <laughs> it's like saying, saying, Lord, would you stop it already? <laughs> Jeez, I'm trying to feel better, and you keep, you know, you get 160 degree weather, and all of a sudden, boom, 30 degrees, and snow, you know? 60 degrees, nice and sunny, and all of a sudden, 30 degrees, it's snow. What in the world's going on around here? You're like, Epa, you want me to slap across the face there? Epa, you know? <laughs> A lot of craziness, but whatever, you know. Uh, so Bobby Lashley, an MVP, kicking off this is the Raw before Christmas. That's right. And and that means the road to day one it gets even crazier. And they addressed the crowd about, you know, being part of the uh, the four-man, uh, the Fatal 4-Way matchup. And then Big E comes out, you know, and Big E says, hey, listen, you know, I was, you know, doing fine. You know, you can't, you know, it shows that you can't beat me by yourself. You get to use MVP. Uh, Big E, it was an old DQ match last week, you know what I mean? So, so but then, and, and, and then Lashley says, you know, MVP, you should face uh, Big E. So, so, MVP goes like, fine. So, they're about to get into it. Then Bobby Lashley gets jumped by <clears throat> Kevin Owens and Seth Rollins. And then, Bob, and then Big E and Bobby Lashley clean house of those two guys, Okay. And, uh, and Sarah Stryber was interviewing uh, Bianca Belair about her match against Drew Drop that was coming up next in women's action. Then it was like the, they call it the final chapter of the match. Then uh, after the commercial before uh, before the match, Kevin Owens and Seth Rollins complained about Lashley. That they they got to do something. They didn't get the job done. And Adam Pearce and Tony DeVille said, hey, you know, you guys seem to have, you know, try to attack Big E and Lashley. We're making this thing a tag team match. It'll be Kevin Owens and, and Steph Rollins versus Big E and Bobby Lashley. Heck of a team, really. But so I did Kevin Patrick interview Austin Theory about what he did to Finn Balor and how uh, how he's gonna impress Mr. McMahon all of a sudden. It's like it's the, 
I wonder if Mr. McMahon's making up for hating Stone Cold Steve Austin. It's like McMahon and Austin. See what McMahon actually likes in Austin. You know, you get Austin 3, you get Stone Cold Steve Austin. It's all messed up, but whatever, right? Yeah. So they had the match Finn Balor versus Austin Theory. Balor won the match, okay? The Miz talks to uh, Omos, and, and, then, uh, AJ Stout, and then AJ Styles comes in and says, Hey, we're going to have at it. Then uh, the gifts were AJ Styles and Omos. Then the Mysterios did... Um, and then it's like a little rift between Omos and AJ Styles. The Mysterios come out to interrupt them. They had their matchup. The Mysterios versus uh, AJ Styles and Omos. The Mysterios won the match. Very good. But Styles, uh, and then Styles, you know, decided to explain the thing. He attacked Omos first, and Omos slammed Styles. And then, uh, after Theory lost the match, tried to visit Vince, uh, Vincent, Vince McMahon, and, uh, the door was locked. I was like, ooh, Vince McMahon, I'm not very happy with Mr. So, and then Omos says the next time, you know, Omos says the next time I stand in the ring, uh, with you in a match, it'll be in a matchup against you. So I think, uh, so that match is happening next week, the Raw before day one. And next week also, Randy Orton will face Otis one-on-one. It's going to be very interesting ma- about that matchup. Speaking of Randy Orton, he faced uh, Chad Gable. Orton won the matchup. Otis tried to attack Orton, and Orton tried to RKO him three times. Otis fought off every single one. Mm, interesting. And then last MVP talk about tonight's matchup. He's in you know MVP says you're not gonna throw me to the wolves. We, you had a plan, and last year goes just let me deal with this. So, so the U.S. Uh, United States Championship contenders matchup: Damian Priest versus Dolph Ziggler. Damian Priest, United States champ. Uh, thanks to Robert Roode, uh, outside the ring though. Um, thanks to Robert Roode, outside the ring, who uh, was taunting Damian Priest. Ziggler won by countout, and that match is happening next week for the United States Heavyweight title as well. And uh, before that matchup, after the commercial break, Daniel Brooke and Reggie were checking out Christmas trees, and Akira Tozawa was looking for R Truth dressed like an and he's dressed like an elf. R Truth was dressed as Santa Claus. They're trying to go after it. Then Tamina gets involved and tries to attack Brooke, as she's, but she escapes. Tamina gets upset with both R Truth and Akira Tozawa because that title is mine. You two stay out of it. And then Kevin Patrick was interviewing Finn, uh, Finn Balor. After uh, after his victory over Austin Theory, but Austin Theory attacks Balor again, does a little stupid selfie thing, and uh, and uh, it'll be a, it's uh, it's a little crazy, right? Uh, Mr. McMahon and Austin Theory were talking about it, and, uh, and Mr. McMahon says, "I love firing people," and they're like, "Hmm, interesting." What he just said after considering over 120 superstars were fired in the last two years, you know. So, it is it is an interesting thing, he says, it, it, even especially before the holidays, it makes my heart warm and good. Mr. McMahon is a real-life Scrooge, man, let me tell you. <laughs> okay? Then they had the cutting edge with Edge and Maurice. Maurice was complaining about how she worked hard and all that. And then Edge was not buying it. He's like, he knew something was up. He knew something was up. He knew Miz, right? He knew something was up because something... He got, but then uh, Maurice says, you don't use your... Uh, do you use your wife as a shield? And then Edge looks at her, no, I don't because I respect my wife, Beth Phoenix, just to let you know. that I got a hunch, I got a hunch, you know, Von Baskins and I are on to something on this one, that Beth Phoenix may get involved in this, I'm telling you. Day one mixed tag, I'm telling you, it's going to come, it's going to, you know, Edge and Miz, or is it next week, or is it the week out, or is it the Raw after day one? The first Monday Night Raw of 2022, maybe? Hmm, I don't know, we'll find We'll find out next week. We'll see what happens, see what develops there. But Miz interrupts Edge, attacks him from behind. It was all a setup. And even Edge called it. Even Edge called it, but he was still set up. I wonder what about Beth Phoenix. Speaking of NXT, all right, Grayson Waller runs his mouth again, okay? On Instagram, he was talking about, he was dissing AJ Styles. AJ tweeted something to get this kid a clue. AJ Styles is going to go to NXT 2.0, and tonight it's going to happen. Him and Grayson Waller are going to confront each other. This ought to be fun, all right? AJ Styles going to NXT 2.0. We've been hearing about it. Uh, we've heard about it after Grayson Waller ran his mouth after, he, uh, you know, he was so hate. I'm like, it's like, if everybody hates you when 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 you decided, if, if, you know, if everybody hates you when you attack Johnny Gargano, what makes you think you'd be well-liked attacking AJ Styles? I mean, you know, I can understand you want to make a name for yourself. 
You know? I don't know, you know, it's like, I remember when Maven made a name for himself by drop kicking The Undertaker out of the Royal Rumble and ticking him off. I mean, back in what, 2002 was it? <laughs> I mean, man, I was like, I was like, if, you know, if like, I had a dream that I was like, you know, part of the Attitude Era, I was a manager, and, uh, and I and I got fired by the Undertaker and Kane as a manager, and I transformed myself into a WWE superstar. And I attacked the Undertaker from behind and uh, slapped the crossface chicken wing on him, made him tap out or something like that. And uh, and then I called myself the Eliminator because I eliminate the competition. And Undertaker, I want your title and your mind. That's why he said something like that. You're entering my neighborhood now, son, or something like that. It was a it was a dream, but it never came true. Anyways, it's a funny dream. Anyways, uh. So, and then they had a women's matchup once again, Rhea Ripley versus uh, Queen Zelina. And Rhea Ripley, despite the fact that Carmella did not get involved, but Carmella and Nikki A.S.H. were banned from ringside, Rhea Ripley hit Queen Zelina with a riptide, got her revenge from last week's matchup. And then Veer Mahan coming to Raw. When are you going to shut up, uh, show up? Mr. I'm going to say shut up, because he don't talk much. When's Mr. Mahan, are you going to show up on Monday Night Raw? Make an impact. Come on, Veer. We want to see Veer Mahan kick butt once again. We saw a little bit of him when he was hanging out with Jinder Mahal and Shanky. Both of those guys are on SmackDown. Veer Mahan here on Raw. He's the million-dollar pitcher that used to play for the Pittsburgh Pirates. Don't believe me? Look him up. That's for sure. And then uh, Sarah Schreiber interviewed Big E uh, about his, match, uh, his tag team matchup tonight. And Bobby Lashley interrupted him. And said, he said, you, you and I, we know... You better work on the same wavelength. That's for sure. All right. Then uh, Liv Morgan comes out for a big time statement, saying that she's going to kick Becky's butt, big time Bex's butt at day one. Becky Lynch comes out, starts insulting her and all that, and then and then he says, "I'm now going in the ring with you and that Kendall stick." So, so freaking uh, Liv Morgan throws the Kendall stick and said, "That's for you. Don't insult me. You're lucky I got a private." Plane to catch. She walks out like a private plane. Uh, the, the female version of the modern day Conor McGregor. That is Becky Lynch. Big time Bex. So, and then they had the matchup. Big E and Bobby Lashley versus Seth Rollins and Kevin Owens. And Big E and Lashley did end up winning the matchup. And then KO and Rollins attack Lashley. They're trying to get Lashley out. He know, they know Lashley's a big threat. They're trying to take him out. They, they knocked out Big E just in case. I'm telling you something right now. It is going to be bowling shoe ugly. All right? Now, that is it. That's all the time we have on the show tonight. NXT 2.0. Grayson Waller, AJ Styles. And he, AJ Styles, after him and Omos do, do that thing, and I think AJ Styles is going to go to NXT 2.0. It's going to be very interesting to see what happens there. I, I, like, the, I like AJ Styles, part of 2.0. It's NXT 2.0. It's going to be very interesting, to say the least. So we'll see what happens there. All right, uh, December the 21st, 2021, I forgot to uh, get the time and date usually to do that. 3.30 p.m., and uh, like I said, four days before Christmas, 10 days before um, until 2021 is up, and uh, can't wait. All right, so I will see you guys later on the next episode, 820, um, episode 41 of Tic Tac Tuesday, me in a 20-round battle versus Sackboy. I'm starting to come around on that. I know... Butthead Slapnut, a.k.a. the devil on the Joker's Wild, got the best of me uh, this past Sunday. But don't worry. I will get my revenge. I always do. But I'll take it out on Sackboy today. All right? I'll see you guys later. You guys have a wonderful day. And I wish you all the peace, all the love, and God's blessings from him above through me to you. All right? And I'll see you guys on the next episode, 820. Peace!